What's going on guys, Beergut410 here with the first episode of the Washington Nationals franchise rebuild here on MLB The Show 22 on the PS5. Super excited to bring this to you today. Be sure to check out the other series that I am running on this channel. I will post it in the top right hand corner right here. The Madden 23 Washington Commanders Franchise Rebuild. Be sure to check out the other things that I am doing here on YouTube, whether it be beer, gut, plays. I will post that in the top right-hand corner right here. Doing a lot of WWE 2K22 My GM content over there. Be sure to check out my other channel, Beer Gut Races. I will post that right here in the top right-hand corner do a lot of NASCAR-centric content over there. NASCAR, uh, the game, Inside Line, maybe some reaction videos every once in a while. A lot of fun. Today's episode and all videos on this channel are brought to you by Ray's Energy. Ray's Energy, guys, absolutely love their product. It is amazing. It is delicious. It Their energy drinks are really good. And their pre-workout formula is great absolutely one of the best pre-workout formulas i have ever used i will post the link in the video description be sure to save uh, be sure to hit that link and use that code beergut10 at checkout and save yourself a little bit of a discount on your order super excited for this we are going to be rebuilding the worst team in baseball now i have some issues with this we still have um, we still have Steven Strasburg under contract, a bunch of bad contracts. Steven Strasburg is not going to get traded right away. I'm going to wait until about the mid-deadline of the first year to see what I can get for him. But we are going to be getting rid of Annabelle Sanchez, Nelson Cruz, and Patrick Corbin, who is under a terrible, terrible deal right now, making about $20 million a year and just not producing so those three guys are going to go nelson cruz is going to go he's about 41 years old does not fit into the plans of this rebuild obviously you know older guy everything like that just not going to fit into the current plans of this team go a little bit younger and try and build through the draft maybe sign some free uh free agent or two after year one but definitely um i i want to get some some new blood into this team. I I, I want to get younger. I want to be able to contend for a playoff. Uh, well, I want to be able to contend for a playoff spot by year two. And by year three, I want to be able to, you know, contend for that World Series. I don't know if we're going to be able to win a World Series with how bad this team is. I just, I don't see it. We did, when we traded um, Juan Soto in real in real life to the San Diego Padres they got Mackenzie Gore they got uh, I'm sorry CJ Abrams those two guys are going to be the real big focal point of this rebuild and, and you know whoever we get into the draft and we got Luke Voigt Luke Voigt, Voigt is just going to be a um a temporary player he's only going to be here for the year so not really concerned about him but the two big players that we got I'm, I think it's going to be great. Uh, I am going to go ahead and sign Lane Thomas to a three-year deal. 76 overall. I think he's uh, he's 26 years old. He's definitely going to grow over the time of this rebuild. I don't know if he'd be you know a starting outfielder, but he will be a you know a good fourth option for us. Uh, Vargas is going to get signed. He is fairly cheap. I think, you know, he could potentially be a, you know, potential trade piece, especially if that overall goes up. I, I think a lot of things we could just do with this team would be, you know, I, I need to get outfielders. I need to get, um, I need to get, I, I need to get a whole damn team. That's what I need to get, unfortunately. This team is just absolutely horrendous right now. And honestly... I, I think we could do I think we could do it in about three years to be a World Series contender. Now, I am sending up all the the arms that are not 
on the twenty or the forty man roster right now. Uh, your Steven Strasburgs, your Will Harris, and a couple other pe names that I can't really think of right now. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to simulate this preseason. Got to auto-release some players. I don't know who the hell is going to get released. We did go ahead and grab some minor league help. We did not have a good preseason as expected. But that is all right. Lane Thomas had a pretty good... A pretty good pre or a pretty good uh, spring training. Oh, I I don't know why I want to keep calling it preseason spring training. Josh Paleos. I'll tell you who else is going to be on the on the chopping block potentially is Victor Robles. I am a big fan of his game in real life. Not exactly a big power hitter. Not exactly you know get a, gets a lot of average, but when he gets on base, he can steal. I'd like to make him potentially my leadoff hitter for this team, but he is on a very short, short leash. I, I just, I think we could potentially get a better center fielder, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to simulate to the regular, well, first we're going to sign some new scouts because our scouts are, are not that great right now. I want to set up some, you know, some training and everything like that to get where I need to be. I, I need to get I think the biggest thing we need to um, the biggest thing that we need to address in the off seat not the off season but the through the draft is grabbing a first baseman uh, a good power hitting first baseman we probably need to grab a I would grab a starting pitcher especially if we end up trading Steven Strasburg away I just don't think he's he's the guy that we want in our He's 30-something. He's over 30. He's got a huge $30 million a year deal. At least $30 million a year. He was great for us. Great for this team. Especially during that World Series run a couple years ago. But I, if we can get something for him. If we can get you know some prospects. Maybe a good veteran presence. A cheap veteran presence that's under contract. Also, you gotta, you gotta think. We have... I don't know. We have like... 100 million in cap room so we could definitely get some um we could definitely get some free agent help if need be i think i we need to address closer our closer is absolutely dog shit right now so we need to get a closer we need to get uh, the bullpen actually isn't terrible i like carl edwards jr i like um i like steve chisick but these guys are you know, a few years away from retiring, so we have to replace them with something. Spring training finally over, and we got the first opening or the opening day matchup for Beer Gut 410 in the Washington Nationals rebuild. It's going to be Steven Strasburg going up against Jacob DeGrom in the opening day matchup. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Mackenzie Gore, I'm excited to use him in the um, in the rebuild. I think he could be our top of the line, front line starting pitcher. And once obviously Steven Strasburg is gone, I, th I think we're gonna have some really good, really good arms in this bullpen. We gotta move one of these guys to third base though, and I'm gonna move Vargas to third base. Uh, we have a severe need at third base, so uh, he just, he needs to be moved unfortunately yeah yeah we need to move a third we needed a third baseman <sighs> again Luke Voigt gonna be a temporary fill-in player for the year but we got I think we made out in the hall with the with the Washington Nationals um, the, the rebuild or with the trade I, I we made out of considering Juan Soto wasn't going to resign we kind of we made out like bandits and I think was didn't somebody else go over in a trade um Juan Soto trade sorry about that guys Juan uh Sandy uh, uh, yeah Josh Bell who was the first baseman Yep, it was Mackenzie Gore, outfield Robert Hassel the third, 
Shortstop C.J. Abrams. Outfielder James Woods. Or James Wood and right-handed pitcher Yarlin Sassina. I'm going to butcher some of these names, so I apologize. Washington also gets veteran first baseman designated hitter Luke Voigt. All right, I think I think Washington for pretty much two players made out like thieves in the night. So, guys, going to wrap this thing up. I hope you guys are looking forward to this. I know this is kind of a late start. We're going to be dropping these twice a week in co cohesion with the Madden franchise. And when NHL 22 comes out, we will also be dropping a new rebuild video on the PS5, new rebuild series on the PS5. I haven't quite decided what team I'm going to be doing over there yet. But guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Hope you all have a wonderful evening. If you guys could hit that like button, subscribe to this channel for more. Hopefully y'all have a wonderful day. And until next time, my friends, peace.